Okay, welcome back to another video. It's me, just another sim guy here. Hope you're all well today. And today I'm gonna to run through uh, Content Manager for Assetto Corsa. We're gonna talk about the settings that I use in my Pimax Crystal Super for absolutely stunning results, as you can tell by the intro. So without further ado, let's start off with the NVIDIA control panel. So if you select Assetto Corsa in here, there's some things which can help um, give the game some good results. Now, what you might want to do is pause the video and take a note of all of these settings. The most important ones that I found uh, helped me were the low latency, mode, uh, low latency mode going to ultra, the power management mode being prefer maximum performance, the texture filtering quality being high performance, threaded optimization on, G-Sync off, and pre-rendered frames of one. Now, individual results may vary depending on your system. Uh, I did find that these worked well, gave me really good stability. So let me know if they work for you. Moving on to Pimax. So if we go to the general settings, uh, it's very important to have the Open XR runtime as Pimax Open XR. Now, if this says Steam in there, because you've played something else and you've got Steam set as the default, you can click a button to change it back. Now, that's really important. Now, this does bring me on to this tool here, which is the Open Composite and the Open XR Toolkit. So there are adjustments you can make with the Open XR Toolkit overlay, um, foveated rendering and stuff like that. I haven't needed to make any adjustments in there to lower performance demand. I can keep it stable without using that. The only reason I use that or ever switch that layer on from inside the VR headset is to monitor frames uh, and performance and headroom. So other than that, I don't touch it, but you may need to. Now the open composite runtime switcher, make sure this is switched to open composite, open XR, not to Steam. Um, now this then means you can avoid using Steam VR, which I find doesn't give me great performance. Uh, where I've got the choice to use, either I don't use Steam VR at all, uh, only when I have to, and that at the moment for me is just race room that I can't get around it. So yeah, that's gonna be really important. So that sort of links to this bit here. If I run through very quickly the device settings, I'm on the 50 PPD. I leave the lighting frequency on auto, I leave it on 72 hertz, which gives me some good headroom for recording and streaming. I've lowered the brightness, but that's personal preference, and the rest of it should be pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, you've got to set your own IPD correctly. In the Advanced tab, I haven't touched any of this, so that should all be as default. And then if we go into the Games tabs, and looking at a set of Corsa, FOV normal, image quality is slightly below high at 0.95, Upscaling and sharpness is zero. I haven't got foveated rendering turned on and I haven't got anything on down here except the hidden area mask. And then again, underneath color options, the rest of this is personal preferences and tweaks. Okay, so that is that. And then if we go into Content Manager very quickly, you've got several tabs in here. The video, uh, the Assault Corsa one, the main one for controlling the video output, um, it's got some really important things in here. Again, I won't go through each one. I've got this running pretty much max across the board, which my system handles lovely. Uh, nice and stable, even night and rain at the same time. I can keep my 72. Very important here, resolution and FPS to have that on open VR out of all those options. And I've got my resolution set to my monitor resolution and I've limited the frame rate to 72. The rest you can see are pretty high maximum, 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 and then choose your chosen uh, post-processing filter. I will share the link to this. If you wanna try this as it is without having to type anything in, uh, there'll be a link in the description. Obviously save your settings first so that you can easily revert back if you need to. As far as the custom shaders patch goes, I've got the page preview for a pound, which gives me the rain. So you can see it's a top one here. Um, and you can also see on the left-hand side here, there is an absolutely huge amount of options to choose from. Now, again, I will share a link so that you can, within a couple of clicks, install everything as I've got it set and then tweak from there if you need to, but again, save your settings before you do that. 
So now I just want to show you some game footage and hopefully you'll be impressed. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems at all with any of these settings or if you're really, really struggling. Uh, but for me, this works really well on my Pimax. Um, not that much different than what I was doing on my Quest 3, if I'm completely honest. So if you've got a Quest, uh, one of the differences is in this drop down here is to use the Oculus Rift runtime. Um, you can still use the OpenXR toolkit in a Quest, and there will be some settings in the debug tool, um, which will be different. Um, but to be honest, I've got other videos on them where I talk about my Quest settings for things like iRacing, and the settings in the debug tool I didn't change from game to game. So if you, if you want to know about the settings in the debug tool for a set of courses, you can follow the iRacing guide and just use... Uh, that part of the video, the iRacing Oculus 3 guide. I hope that makes sense. If you struggle, get in the comments, get on our Discord, ask us questions. I do reply to every comment. If I can't find the answer, I should know a man who can. So um, yeah, if that's helped you, make sure you like. If you want this sort of content in the future for other games, or if you just love sim racing and you want to check out some game footage across lots of different sims, make sure you sub. There's two or three videos coming out a week at the moment, sometimes more, and we're always a helpful bunch. So if you're really struggling, then um, pop us a message and we'll do what we can to help. Hopefully we'll see you on the track soon. Don't forget to like on the way out and I'll catch you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.